Welcome back. Taking a full look at weather now with meteorologist Lisa Montgomery. Lisa, lots to track tonight. Yeah, we do have some thunderstorms out there and some strong ones too. These cells have been in Santa Cruz County all evening long. This is the third strong storm to roll through that area. So it's been the same area as Boulder Creek. We're talking about Ben Loman where they have picked up over an inch of rain and we're seeing a flood advisory for those areas in Santa Cruz County because of the excessive rainfall uh, over the last several hours. And we're talking about minor flooding for those low lying flood prone areas, poor drainage areas. So that flood advisory is until 1 a.m. so far, but we're still seeing some strong storms out there even this hour. Let's take a look at our weather headlines. Uh, we've got an unsettled weekend ahead, especially as we head into Saturday. I think Sunday afternoon things will improve for us. We'll see more sunshine, but we will have rounds of rain and wind and even thunderstorm chances into our Saturday. We'll have a little bit of dry time too. It just depends on where you live and where these uh, showers push through because they will be scattered. We've got cooler temperatures too and mountains snow for those higher elevations. We're talking about 2000 feet higher. So the Santa Cruz Mountains, maybe a little bit of a dusting there over the weekend. The Diablo Range in San Benito County, the Santa Lucia Mountain Range. We could have a little bit of a light accumulation as that cooler air begins to filter on through. This is a cold front that's working through and you can see a lot of red and yellow and it's mainly been north of Monterey Bay into San Santa Cruz County tracking up into Santa Clara County and that's where we've seen those strong thunderstorms with even pea sized hail being reported and those wind gusts up to about 40 miles per hour. But we do have some scattered showers and we're seeing some moderate rainfall even uh, around the peninsula stretching down into King City Fort Hunter Liggett. You picked out picked up so far about a quarter of an inch of rain right now. Temperatures you can see the higher elevations. We are already cold in the 30s 36 and this is where we're seeing some very strong winds too. Uh, as we take a look at the pinnacles, we're at 49. So we do expect to fall back into the low to the mid 40s overnight. So it's going to be cooler. It was a cooler day today and it gets even cooler tomorrow. We're talking about the low to the mid 50s in most locations. The other big story those gusty winds. Take a look right now at these wind gusts. Santa Rita Peak, we're up to 56 miles per hour. Uh, even Loma Prieta was up to around 60 miles per hour, that wind gust, and that uh, that's a uh, high elevation there. But you can see even um, down around the Bixby Bridge, Monterey, we're looking at 30 mile per hour wind gusts. So those winds are going to continue to be gusty overnight tonight as well. That's why we do have a wind advisory in effect for these areas here. And it's mainly for those higher elevations where we could have those 50 plus mile per hour wind gusts, but we are seeing some gusty conditions everywhere, 25 to 30 miles per hour, and that's going to continue into our Saturday as well. Sunday should be a little bit better, but we will be staying cool. We do have a high surf alert. This is in effect until 4 p.m. tomorrow, so we are going to have some large breaking waves tomorrow. You can see anywhere uh, from 18 to 20 feet, so uh, a little dangerous there, even a gale warning, and this is going to continue in Monterey Bay until tomorrow and then we're looking at extended time as we get down to Point Pinos all the way down to the county line uh, with some hazardous seas there about 10 monocle miles out. So the winds really a factor, really an impact this weekend. Future cast showing you as we get into tomorrow morning, we're still seeing some heavier pockets, uh, but this will continue to be scattered across the area, the central coast. Some areas, maybe a few peaks of sunshine, but then it does become more widespread as we get into the afternoon hours. This is a look at dinner time and then we'll see some scattered precipitation for overnight Saturday into our Sunday morning. Things will begin to improve as we get into Sunday afternoon. We're still seeing a couple heavier showers around the area and then it will quiet down for us at least until the next round and that's going to be election day, maybe Tuesday chance for some light rain, but especially as we get into midweek. Now here's a look at your future precipitation. You can see here this will be by tomorrow morning, so not too bad here, but of course we've already seen higher amounts where we've had those uh, heavy thunderstorms. So that includes Santa Cruz, Boulder Creek, uh, Morgan Hill. We've seen a lot more of that in isolated areas. And then for Sunday morning, this is where we're at with those rainfall totals. Gilroy looking good there. We're under an inch and we're going to see that even as we get into Monday morning. Everybody's staying under that inch of rain. So again, tomorrow it's going to be a cool start and it'll be a cool day in the low 50s just everywhere across the central coast. Salinas 52, a marina in the low 50s, even around the peninsula.
peninsula in the mid to the upper 50s, but it will be windy. And we do have the showers too. 50s uh, everywhere, even King City 55 tomorrow. So we've got some rain tomorrow, looking better on Sunday, and then rain arrives again for Tuesday, even inland, Tuesday and Wednesday. Uh, but let's get through tomorrow and hopefully we'll squeeze in a nice day on Sunday. Looks like we'll be spending time indoors. Thank you, Lisa.